What would you make with these things? I've got a piece of oak, some string, a few eye bolts, and an empty cigar box. Hi, I'm John Park. And today on the Maker Workshop, we're gonna take all these simple parts and turn them into a cigar box guitar and make some music. Now it all starts with a one by two piece of oak, about three feet long. This is gonna be the neck of the guitar. And oak is great because it's strong enough to stand up to the tension of the strings. So up here, I'm gonna drill some holes for the strings and the tuning pegs to go. So I've already made marks and now I'm gonna draw some intersecting lines so I know where to drill the holes. The measurements here are half an inch in and then one inch spacing for the rest of these. And then I've also made marks here for the direction the strings will be. So these are about three eighths of an inch apart and don't worry about these dimensions too much. The instructions are on our website. Okay, and one last one. Okay, now the points where these intersect is where I'll drill some of my holes. Here's the pattern. Got one here and over one, drop down, over another, drop down, and the last one. Okay, at the other end, I've already marked some holes. This is where I'll drill for the place to anchor the strings. So let's go do some drilling. I'm gonna use a quarter inch drill bit to drill out all these holes at the top of the neck of the guitar. With all of my holes drilled, it's time to add a couple of pieces of wood that will hold the strings up from the surface of the guitar so that they can vibrate freely. You can use some scrap wood for this. I've got a little bit of trim I'm gonna use. So I've cut some lengths of it. This first one on the top is called the nut and it's placed six inches down from the top. I've got another one, I've built this up to a double height. That's called the bridge. And that goes an inch and a half from the bottom. So I've mixed up a little bit of epoxy and I'm gonna spread that on there and then clamp these down so they dry. The wood is dry now, and I'm getting ready to string the guitar. I'm gonna use nylon mason twine for this. It stretches a lot less than cotton, so I won't have to retune this as often. It's gonna lay across the bridge and nut just like this. So I wanna cut little grooves in here so that the string seats nicely. I've already made some marks for that and I'm gonna use a little saw to make the grooves. The eye bolts will be my tuning pegs. I can turn these to tune the strings. I've got a nut and washer on there already and I'll slip that through the back and then secure it on the other side with another washer and a wing nut. Now at the other end of the guitar, I'm going to secure the strings with some wood screws. Now this oak is pretty tough, so I've pre-drilled some holes and then I'm just gonna screw these in. To string it up, I've cut three lengths of my twine and I've double knotted one of them to the wood screw here on the end. Now I'll feed this through the hole and pull that up over the bridge through the groove, across the nut, and back down the hole. And now I can double knot this to the eye bolt. And you don't have to worry about getting this too tight because you'll be able to tension it by turning the bolt. Okay. Get that knotted. I'll flip this over now. I'll just hold on to the wing nut, and turn the bolt, and that's gonna put nice tension on the string. There we go.
All right, my guitar's all strung. Now for frets, I'm using nails secured in place with rubber bands. Now you might want to grind the tips off of these like I did, because they're a little bit sharp. You might ask, why three strings? That's the tradition in cigar box guitars. Let's give it a listen. Sounds pretty good, but it's not too loud. And that is where the cigar box comes in. This is gonna act as a resonator or soundboard for the guitar to make it louder. I've already glued this shut, and now I'll center the guitar neck over the box and leave a little overhang for the string holes and screws. Now I'll epoxy this down. It's all put together and I've tuned the guitar. That's a lot louder now, but to really make it rock, I'm gonna turn this into an electric cigar box guitar. And here's how I'll do it. This is called a piezo transducer. It's a $3 part that you can get at the electronics store. And what it does is turn small vibrations into a signal that goes down these wires. I'm gonna use it as the guitar pickup. Here's one that I've soldered to a wire and I'm gonna set this in place on the neck and then just tape that into place. I'm gonna hack this old tape recorder and turn it into an amp. Here's how. If you open this up and take a look, this is the playback head. By soldering the end of my pickup to that, I'm gonna take all the signal from the guitar and pump it through the amp. All right, it's all soldered together and it's time to play. Now that great overdrive sound I'm getting is because we're putting so much power out of here into this tiny amp. To really test it out, I asked my friend Ed to come along. He's a maestro of the cigar box guitar. How's it going, man? Good to see you. I brought my friend Kanjo Kurt and Display Case Bass John. We're gonna play the blues. This is awesome. I'm John Park, and I'll see you next time on the Maker Workshop. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad, 